We're given a quadratic sequence with the terms 20, 12, 10, and 14. The first question, 2.1.4, we're supposed to determine an expression for the nth term of the pattern in the form Tn is equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. How could we possibly do that? We need to find the first difference and the second difference. 12 minus 20 is minus 8. 10 minus 12 is minus 2. And then 14 minus 10 is positive 4. So those are the terms for our first difference. And now the second difference, which we expect to be constant, we have minus 2 minus minus 8. That is positive 6. And then we have 4 minus minus 2. Again, we have positive 6. So now we have the terms for our first difference and the terms for our second constant difference. So what do we do now? How do we then find Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C? Well, we start with saying that 2a is equal to the second difference, which is constant. So in this case, 2a is equal to 6. It's easy to see that we're going to divide both sides and get a is equal to 3. So all the time when you have a quadratic sequence, you can just say that 2a is equal to the second difference. And after finding the value of a, we can then say that 3a plus b is equal to minus 8 the first term of the first differences if you're wondering where this is all coming from i've actually done a video before proving why 2a is equal to the second difference and why 3a plus b is always equal to the first term of the first difference but anyway stories if we substitute a into this equation we're gonna have 3 multiplied by 3 plus b being equal to minus 8 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 if we take it to the other side it's going to be negative so we basically have b being equal to minus 8 minus 9 which is minus 17. now we're just left with c we have a we have b how can we find c a plus b plus c is equal to the first term of the quadratic sequence uh, so that is equal to 20. a is 3 b is minus 17 plus c should be equal to 20. so 3 minus 17 is minus 14. if we take minus 14 to the right hand side we're going to get c being equal to 34. So now we can say that Tn is equal to 3n squared minus 17n plus 34. And just like that, we have the solution to 2.1.1. Let's look at 2.1.2. Uh, the first differences form an arithmetic sequence that is true and always true the first difference of a quadratic sequence will give you an arithmetic sequence determine between which successive terms in the quadratic sequence the first difference will be 148 right so now we have to pay attention to our arithmetic sequence just to show you again uh, real quick we have 20 12 10 14 and then for our arithmetic sequence we have minus 8 minus 2 and 4 so we need to find the equation or the general formula for our arithmetic sequence and then we find the value of n for which our arithmetic sequence is equal to 148 this is how we answer this kind of question so to find the general formula or the general term of an arithmetic uh, sequence you see that tn 
is equals to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So what is tn? We are interested in 148. What is the value of n when uh, the value of our arithmetic sequence is 148? So a is the first term of the arithmetic sequence, which will be minus 8 in this case plus n minus 1. n is what we're looking for, right? The position of that term. And then d is the difference. We know that the common difference is 6 in this case. So we have, uh, let's just take minus 8 to the left hand side real quick. So we're going to have 148 plus 8, which will be 156, being equals to n minus 1 multiplied by 6. So that is 6n minus 6. If we take 6 to the left hand side, uh, we're going to get 156 plus 6. 162 is equal to 6n. If we divide both sides by 6, we're going to therefore get n is equal to 27. So n is equal to 27 is between which two terms on our quadratic sequence let's go and find out so look at minus 8 minus 8 is n is equals to 1 on our arithmetic right and it is between n is equals to 2 and n is equals to 1 in our quadratic let's look at n is equals to 2 on our arithmetic it is equals to oh it is between uh, n is equals to 3 and n is equals to 2 in our quadratic sequence you can see the trend that tells us that uh, n is equals to 27 will be between n is equals to 28 and n is equals to 27 in our quadratic sequence so that is the answer to this question let's look at 2.1 2.1.3 what do we have here determine the smallest value of n for which sn is greater than 10140 in the arithmetic sequence so sn is the sum right sn is the sum let's not uh, forget that so 2.1.3 we say that we need sn to be greater than uh, 10,114. But what is Sn? We actually have a formula for that. Uh, it is n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. We're saying that this should be greater than 10,140. So let's go ahead and substitute and see what we get n is what we are looking for to a what is a in our arithmetic sequence it is minus 8 right so a here will be minus 8 plus n minus 1 we know fully well that uh, the difference is positive 6 this will be greater than 10,140. So we're going to have n divided by 2, and then 2 multiplied by minus 8, that is minus 16, um, plus 6n minus 6, being greater than 10,140. So n divided by 2, inside the bracket we're going to have minus 16 minus 6, that is minus 22 plus 6n being greater than 10,140. n divided by 2 multiplied by minus 22 is equals to minus 11n. Minus 11n. And then n divided by 2 multiplied by 6n is equals to plus 3n squared. This is greater than 10,140. And then if we write this nicely, we're going to get 3n squared minus 11n. Now let's take this constant term to the left-hand side. So we're going to have minus uh, 10140 
being greater than zero. So now it's just a matter of factorizing. Well, this might be difficult to factorize for some people. If you're one of those people, then you can just use uh, the quadratic formula. Uh, but anyway, if you go ahead and factorize this, you're going to have 3n plus 169 multiplied by n minus 60 being greater than 0. So I want to show you something. If you solve for this bracket right here, you're going to get a value of n, which is negative. And we know fully well that there is no negative position, right? So we don't want that. Our solution lies here at n minus 60 is greater than 0. So n should be greater than 60. What is the smallest value of n? that is greater than 60 it's n is equal to 61 and that is the answer to 2.1.3 uh, the last question 2.2 it's a bit interesting also let's see how it goes right so if if uh the sum also we have a sigma notation there let me just copy it down real quick uh, r plus b is equals to 10a yeah if that uh, if that sum there is equals to 10a determine b in terms of a determine b in terms of a so what are we going to do uh, we're starting from one and going to five so we can just do this manually we can just substitute these values from one to five and then we're going to equate the sum to 10a right yeah it's not a painful exercise maybe if it was 1 to 50 we would have to think of something else but then we have a very few terms we can compute that manually uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, so our sum r is equals to 1 r plus b so let's do this when r is equals to 1 we're gonna have 1 plus b plus when r is equals to 2 we're gonna have 2 plus b you can see the trend now so i can just go ahead and put uh, the other values without need for any explanation you can see what is happening we just uh, directly substitute in here and then plus uh, plus what 5 plus b right there we go so that is it that is what we have let's sum that up nicely uh, we have one two three four five so five plus four is nine plus one is ten plus three thirteen plus two fifteen so we have fifteen and then one two three four five fifteen plus five b that is our sum right so by saying that we can then say 15 plus 5b is equals to 10a so we find in b in terms of a right so 5b is equals to 10a minus 15 we just divide both sides by 5 and b will be equals to 2a minus 3.